Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another last minute kick out. As always, I'm Pete Titans Creed Neverco, joined by my bearded brethren in crime. One, Mr. Kevin, the Kevin Eva Eva. I'm letting the side down a bit. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I've, in, in, I've let the side overgrow. I've let the side overgrow. It might, okay. However, our beards are nothing in comparison to one Mr. John Turbo Finley. How are you doing? Yeah, man? it's just so <laughs> scruffy here. It is, yeah. it is mighty. It looks like it looks like a real beard. Mine's just hair that just doesn't grow in anywhere. Well, I'm sorry, but this, in. This, this is have not you, really, you know, have you really comfortable sometimes. Have you stolen the bottom of Daniel Bryan's face? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, well, I mean, he did donate. He did donate his hair. This is true. Uh, he did, you know. didn't he? So, so I might, I might have just, uh, you know, accidentally got some in the post, uh, you know, by mistake, uh, thinking that slabbered I was a, the, a needy he sl- kid. He slabbered the print stick on. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are here, and we will not be deterred by weather. Unlike uh, Vince McMahon in his battle, constant battle versus God. <laughs> Um, oh, oh my god. god! WrestleMania Night One, forty-minute delay. But did you First... did, did you see the clip of what it was like, like two hours or something before they started? Mm-hmm. That was crazy. I, I, saw, some, I saw some stuff uh, for, uh, like um, like because this time, obviously, this is the first time that actual fans were at. Uh, a WWE <laughs> event and whatnot, and all I was seeing on Twitter was all these kind of like video recordings of like the 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 you know the cardboard cutouts of all it, all the kind of like posing weird fans just going <laughs> you know hitting on the thing it was uh, maddening. It had the sails been down on that pirate ship at the time. Mm. I think the whole thing would have actually gone, <laughs> would have actually just sailed off. Jesus, and uh, uh, actually they were lucky in a way because they topped off a lot of the video stuff beforehand. If they hadn't topped it off, oh my goodness, they would have just, they'd have screwed up the entire thing. Oh yeah, production wise, it would have been completely screwed over. It was an absolute nightmare. Screwed over. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it was it a nightmare anyway. Cut, oh yeah. Cut, 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 cut. But... I mean, it was a very scrambled first 40 minutes with them trying Super. to push interviews with everybody. That like, was That was funny. Highlight in the first 40 <laughs> minutes was a Samoa Joe in a poncho. WrestleMania, which then oh. the King tried to coin on night two. Oh. After Michael Cole coined it on night one. Well, no, no, no. Twitter coined it. It was fed to Michael Cole just so people could groan at it and blame Michael Cole for it so they can kill it dead. Because if Michael Cole says it, then they're not going to use No one's going to use it. No, if Byron Saxton says it, no one's going to use it. Oh, if Byron Saxton, but no yes. one's going to hear the 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 less said about uh the first 40 minutes and like the garbage bits and pieces they were trying to do there let's move on to the main card um opening as we fully expected in predictions with bobby lashley versus drew mcintyre for the wwe championship this was less of a finisher fest than i was expecting and again well i say less than a finisher because this is the kind of way that mcintyre matches have been going like it's gone as I mentioned in predictions, or it was either predictions or it was uh, in the on the last minute continued Discord. Where you should come and join us and talk about wrestling mm. and video games. Um, but it was just like WrestleMania last year, five minute matches, and then they got steadily longer. You know, and and now we're in these like twenty minute matches where, you know, the man who kicked out of three F fives is now getting worn down by opponents hey it's it's making bobby looking stronger i i'm not yeah. disagreeing with that at all yeah based i mean the way they booked that was i think the best way that they could have booked that with with what they were trying to go for because bobby gets to look like a legitimate you know I mean, he looks like a badass anyway but as you mentioned, he's, he's worn the guy down. It, it's he couldn't outpower Bobby Lashley. Drew couldn't outpower him. So that's. But, he also, but also, it still boiled down to the factor that, yeah, you know, Lashley has support in the form of a distracting MVP. Uh, MVP. Oh you know, yeah, well, that's that's fine. Well. That just plays into Which the is whole the typical of... typical heel yeah, kind of like uh, mentality for a champion. That's what a manager's there so. for to go. Hey. Hey, no, unless, but, unless but, it's Heyman, in which case it's, oh, oh. 
Oh God, we'll get to that. In... Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll get. We'll get to that in, in night two's two. recording, but oh. Yeah. But no, overall, the, uh, I I thought the match was serviceable. Uh, do you think? Do you think it was a good way to open WrestleMania? Like, it's the first no. match after no. that forty. Like, if we take the first forty minutes aside, do you think it would have been a good match to open? No. No. What because, would you? Yeah, what would you because, prefer on the card? In I would have. Like I that? would have want uh, Cesaro and uh, Rollins to be the opener. That that would have been a good decision, actually. Because I, I feel as though having the ch- because they did the championship match opening before at uh, two year uh, two re- WrestleMania years ago where yeah, we had Rollins Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar. If he wasn't on last, he was going on first. Yeah. So, and again, th- granted, that was the big big face boss. And we all said that. Obviously, you said you know to ha- be the first match back, and you needed to have that big first pop of you know yeah. big championship win or like big. You know, big win for the baby face and whatnot. We didn't get it for the for the match. That's and, uh, and true. If they, were, if they were gonna keep the title on Bobby, I would say either leave it la- uh, like leave it at the end of the show mm. or in the middle of the show. I think not at the start the, because that uh, would I, be a bad opening. I feel like I I think the only reason Lashley walked out of that is because the response to Lashley has been so good since the Hurt Business has started. It's. It's good, but it's still like he is still heelish because you still heard audible boo. It, like it was oh, very yeah, no, easy. Oh yeah, he's, get, he's, get, he's getting, that, he's getting um, his heat. He's getting his heat. Yeah, he was getting his heat. So really, they've got they got it right there. Um, I, I, but I feel, I feel I, as though all it's they're still doing not, is like, letting him be him from TNA. Yeah, which is like the best last he's been. So on the in the last minute continued Discord, uh, when we actually knew it was going to be McIntyre versus Lashley, I actually went and found the match because the match has been up. The TNA match has been up on YouTube. Oh, as for soon a as it started, years. as soon as it started, TNA tweet, mm-hmm. Impact rather tweeted it. T- <laughs> and, and Impact, good for Impact them. tends to time it well to have all these kind of like archived matches of other like former you know impact slash dna mm-hmm. yeah uh, i mean th- i mean it's been up yeah. on youtube since like 2018 i think yeah, it's yeah. been up there for a while but yeah it's always but good it's, stuff. It's like, so i actually went and watched that and there, there are some noticeable stuff but it's also still a very different match you know when it comes down to it and i mean it's, i imagine we're just going to see more of this at wrestlemania backlash as it's oh, now told me because you know nobody knew that backlash was always it's only been around so for like 20 years it's we didn't and next need we'll have telling. wrestlemania money in the bank and then wrestlemania no no, like, no it's no it, the, no it's the, fast, lane fast lane to wrestle fast lane to wrestlemania was what everyone was saying fast lane to mm-hmm. wrestlemania yeah uh, oh so, no, overall uh, uh, the match what do you think kev uh, it was uh, again again, we, again Again, I can understand why it came out first because, but they, they kind of put themselves into a corner there with it because Drew and Bobby apparently were like really insistent that it was like, okay, we're not going to be on main event, and then we're first. And Drew was Drew wanted to be that first match. I match wise, I mean, it was you'll you'll hear me say this a lot throughout the night. Solid. It was it was a solid match. It mm. did the job. I I was surprised by the finish. I was surprised by the, it's 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 a weird it's a weird thing to not just have the face lose but you know have the face pass out in the first match. Well, it, it's, it's also it's also the way to come back and turn around and go ah, but I didn't tap out because it's a trope that they've done before. Yeah, yeah. Where it's just like, but I didn't for Mania to have the opening match be well, the face passes out. That's not. <laughs> Yeah, it's no. Uh, odd, if they were gonna, if they feeling. were gonna do that, and they were, and they really wanted to push how brutal this this should have been, like, like I feel like that this Mania match should have been the culmination of several matches. It should have been later on the card in that case, as John would have said. But it also mm. should have been something like a Last Man Standing match, where that kind of brutality, where those guys could come out and do that. I think the only reason it wasn't. Is because uh, McIntyre's want... McIntyre's been in several gimmick matches with Sheamus on TV shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they then kind of you just got, well, didn't they? But then the likelihood of like possibly now hypothetically because P- 
Pete hasn't watched Raw yet, so I can't, you know. He, he doesn't think. know about Ronda Rousey becoming the Universal Champion. No! But hypothetically, it's like um, they might want to make a stipulation match because of this result. Oh, it wouldn't it wouldn't yeah. surprise me again, like if uh Backlash, WrestleMania has Backlash yeah. they they have another match because McIntyre didn't tap out and it'll be a gimmicky match of like no like disqualification or what the fuck ever but I whatever. Uh it was a good match. I think everybody enjoyed it for what it was not happy a lot of people not happy with the finish yeah but uh it was good i i do dig infuriated lashley <laughs> Where, uh, lashley doesn't get angry he's, but all of a sudden if something goes against him he's like <sighs> well this is the thing he's been <laughs> taking he's <laughs> been taking lessons at the sh- uh, at the shane mcmahon school of wrestling i just find that whenever mcmahon uh whenever lashley is like really angry his his mm. head just turns into a bowl of water and he yes! just he just sweats yes! well he just all, 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 all he needs is just the buggy eyes and that'll yeah. do it all the, yeah you're right though all of a sudden just all the pores just expel <laughs> and it just comes shiny what what is up with that i don't know uh, moving onwards, uh, the tag team turmoil match where the winners would receive a WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match on night two. We started with uh, Lana and Naomi and Billy Kay and Carmella. Okay, points to points to Billy Kay for Ms. Now Two Point as we were discussing in the Discord. I love that. I love that when she was walking down the ramp, like everything that Carmella did, she, Billy Kay was like that. All the time, <laughs> just sat down there. See what she's doing. It's like, and every time she's doing, she did then quickly copy the mannerism or just <sighs> mirrored what she said, just trying to make it look like that she's actually like, oh yeah, we really are good tag team partners because look, we have just chemistry. Like we have chemistry. We just like each other. Like, Please don't dump me. I'm did you notice something. how they made special Titan Trons for every one of these people as a team? I mean, you got to, you got to for the. For the, the setup, time so it might as well yeah. do, you know. Yeah, it's nice that they did. But yeah, um, so Lana and Naomi. I, the only thing I haven't got about this match is like Carmella, like Carmella and Billy Kay probably lobbied to be put in this match. But the whole point of Carmella being in the match was to get at the tag team championships because of, oh, what's his fucking name? Vince. Oh, uh, Red Reginald. <laughs> Reginald. <laughs> fucking yeah. Reginald. Yeah. Uh, yeah, granted, like, granted, that's, the whole, that's the whole point Carmella was interested in this is to try and get back to that but then you know they, they didn't get very far um, poor Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose when they came down the ramp oh goodness uh, it was Damn, because, kind because of because I've seen yeah, almost, almost expected that somebody was going to go over it was happening it's like I mean that, that entire ring area was going to be a, quite the hazard especially the mats that they have on the ring side because remember remember that one time where Rusev uh, slipped when there was some water on the yeah. on the outside yeah. side and it's like like that could easily happen to anyone and yeah. it obviously hadn't I, it was bad on the ramp and whatnot, so some, something we should also state is that this match also has uh, an infamous call at the end of it as well um, because the commentators to avoid the rain and everything else were up close to the ring that we could all see on the cameras and they were just calling it by hand instead of watching the actual uh camera feed so and then they were making some pretty bad calls for the first couple of matches until they, were back they the had table. very very restricted views so it was kind mm. of understandable in hindsight although at the time you're wondering what the hell are they talking about <laughs> but um yeah i, I mean i i like, much like you Pete, I, I don't quite understand the the Carmella and that winning the first bat against Naomi. The other, the the Just other dumb four, luck. the other four teams in this match, I completely get because they've been sniping and having matches, and you know have all want legitimate chances at the titles. I get it, and then it's just Carmella and Billy Kay, and I'm like. Well, somebody just wants a WrestleMania payday? Question mark. Um, which is good for them. They fought for the slot and they got it, but I, I don't know. I feel like this match would have been served better because i'm quite sure we're not the only ones who thought 
oh, tag team turmoil. All the all the teams are going to be around the ring, but it ended up just being a gauntlet match. That's what yeah. tag team turmoils are. Yeah, it, but, but but it was it. They made no indication that it was going to be a really a really apart from that elimination. I think, and the way that they used the, the other language in the, in the build-up made you think that it was indeed. It was like a, all crazy. I don't know. You know like, it, I think they could have just done away with turmoil altogether and gone a tag team gauntlet match where the winners receive a WWE, yeah. and then it would have been fine. I just, I've got, I've just got a problem with the terminology that they used for the match. I, I don't recall it, turmoil being that, especially yeah, when they had, I, when especially it, when it, on they first the two, SmackDown, yeah. the SmackDown before WrestleMania was called a tag team turmoil match and it was a fatal four way it, yeah they're not, they're not they're not very uniform and okay. it was one of the again it's one of those things where because when when, the, when they came out it was like so it was two teams that started and and, and both i think you were the same but we were just a bit huh it's a like, where's match. i was i actually went back to smackdowns like the reports on smackdown see if i'd missed something entirely like, like nope. everybody else had been kicked out or something. No, nope. <laughs> nope. But no. Um. Yeah. I, I, I like the cheating. I actually like the cheating. I thought that was a that was a nice little. It's not something you see often. No. With that. Um. So we got them. Then we got the Riot Squad with mm-hmm. uh, a nice Harley Quinn Joker themed get up for the pair of them, which was nice to see. It was. They got offense. They go well. That's what I was saying. It's like they 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 have the the actual tag team chemistry, and they actually um, and they said it on commentary, didn't they? They actually said, yeah. "Hey, these are the guys who've actually been a tag team for ages." Yeah, and I think that might have been were... a bit of a because I, I, I think you, yeah, you jinxed yourself there, Kev. Is what you yeah. did? Well, well, no, yeah, because what no, because I think Grave. I think he said actually, he's like they or Coles, one of them said he's a bit of a, they're they're the ones who've been the tag team. It was it almost felt like a dig backstage actually, like mm. please stop sleeping on Riot Squad. Mm. But yeah, but no, they, they they had they they were able to you know obviously use their double team offense to you know carry on through, and they they ended up being <laughs> the MVP, but not the winners um, going on because they would eliminate. Uh, Carmella and uh, uh, Peyton Royce, and then Billy Kay. Uh, Billy Kay, sorry. Um, and uh, then you've got uh, oh, Dana, Dana Brooke and Dana Mandy Brooke Rose. And Mandy Rose, and uh, they uh, obviously when they get eliminated, they took advantage of like beating down Bright Squad uh, to you know make them a little weaker mm-hmm. for the final team, which would be. Tamina and uh, Natalia, and uh, even though they had valiant valiancy to their you know cause with uh, trying to fight back and whatnot, and yeah, just uh, uh, the 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 Tamina train rolled on <laughs> essentially, and uh, just I uh, was fine with that. Them. That's fine. I, I think it fine. deserved it. I, she, I mean, think... it, like Tamina, Tamina got a really good crowd. She got, uh, she got, she got, she, she got probably got the cr- she probably crowd. got the loudest crowd reaction, and uh, in both uh, between all all the nights, I think all the all the all the, yeah. all the competitors. I think that was because the crowd sort of was on board with the idea that, which is again the same we discussed was like, this is the time she's finally gonna get you know. Everybody knows that she's not won the bloody title. My, she's at been all. in the company she's for, been so long for so long. She's, she's not won had. anything ever. Yeah, so it's like, they're finally doing this, and they're going to pull the trigger. You know, and it's like you know what? She's been around. We know the fact that she's like really highly respected in the back, and is one of the ones that sort of keeps the girls' locker room together. Um. So and and yeah, everyone was everyone was for it. I think I like I loved the the bit at the end where it was like Natty was going to go for the sharpshooter and then just went no and it was like you do it and it, it, it felt a bit healy it felt a bit healy initially and the crowd was like Ooh. but in actuality it was just like okay we're giving Tamina, Tamina a win. Re- yeah. WrestleMania moment for herself mm-hmm. um, and as I said in the Discord it, it also made sense because then effectively with them winning you were effectively saving the sharpshooter for night two 
Mm. So, but yeah. Uh, all in all, it, it was a decent finish. The match was a bit skittish in places due to weather problems, I think. But otherwise, it was enjoyable. I, th- I, th- I think it was a bit skittish with some some of the compa- competitors' chem- chemistry as well. I think um, midway, it got a bit hazy. Mm, it did uh, lose by the... a little bit. Yeah. So, but it, it, it was able to pick itself up a little bit, um, you know, by the end. With uh, right squad and Tamina and uh, Natalia and whatnot, but uh, now nah, I think it might have been the weakest match possibly mm. of the night, but still serviceable. Serviceable, yes, still serviceable. Okay, so we move on to the match where we realise that the WWE universe cannot count when somebody goes in a circle and rather decides to count per second. Seconds. <laughs> Yeah, um, so uh, they actually rectified how many swings were done by Cesaro and Seth Rollins on the pre-show on night two. So, uh, yeah, we're, to- we're of course talking about Cesaro and Seth Rollins. Uh, yeah, this was this is a pretty stellar match, I thought. Oh, it was a really good match. Like, it, it's like properly shows off Cesaro's great strength, as always. Like he always shows the great greatness uh, he has, and of course Rollins being able to like, you know, sell like a bo- like he's because well granted it's probably not the best thing to compare him to but it's like he's becoming the Dolph Ziggler, of uh, you know this uh, he's, he's era. Bit, there are there are there are certain <laughs> things like uh, the finish is definitely uh, in evidence to that because the finish is on par with the 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 stomp into the RKO. I thought the finish was amazing with the with the stomp counted into a European uppercut. Oh yeah. Nice. That, mm. that that was juicy. It's like there there was a there was a lot of stuff that just made you think, ooh. It was like there was like there was like the flip that was like pretty much the flip into a new neutralizer more or less, wasn't it? Or there, there was something mm. in the ropes that it, there was Rollins a lot got... to do with the neutralizer. Like the a lot of finishers got countered. Yeah. Like, um, like a lot of reversals back and forth. Like, yeah, I so. think it was a neutralizer into like a not a, it was either a small package or a, or a sunset flip pin, whatever. The yeah, fuck there, it was. there was a few. But there was like a there was like a, a flip twist out of when Rollins was in the ropes and he was like flicked off but, and somersaulted into a position and it was. Here's here's the thing about this match. If you put this match on NXT on an NXT pay-per-view, or if you put it on an AEW show, it would get lost amongst the shuffle of what happens with the other sort of matches that get put on on those two shows. Here, it stands out a bit more because you don't get that type of wrestling on a main brand WWE show. Yeah, because like on places like uh, NXT UK, you've got people, uh, competitors like Tyler Bay as one. That's like the big strong boy spinner kind of like a character and then you got other kind of like uh more uh stronger brutish types like uh like walter and whatnot so yeah i i agree this is like the nxt caliber match because the same that's what many people online was going on it's like this is roh circa 2000 at nine or especially 10 with, or whatever especially with zane owens later yeah yeah uh, oh yeah uh, definitely there was a lot of R R H kind of like homages matches that was happening at this year's WrestleMania, mm. but uh, but no for for the good because this was really good. Mm. Um, three letters, gentlemen, UFO. Oh yes. Oh. Like, I, mean, I actually th- I actually thought he was setting up for uh, for you know a torture rack. It's with, such uh... it's such a good looking move that has such a shit name. Like fucking. UFO is so bad. Like for a name, like I'm. Uh, is there really nothing better they could have come up with? You know what? You this... know what? Saying it, call it a new UFO, just immediately takes. Uh, you know, reminds me of the. You know, you know the scene in uh, Scrubs where uh, the, the interns are playing uh, uh, human uh, space invaders. And, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. throwing. They're throwing water balloons. It's like, yeah. Janine, make that annoying nails for for the UFO. Oh my Janine's god! Like, and I'm just expecting that someone to is just that, insert that, that for the spin. If that's gonna be on a fucking. Um, Botchamania. Botchamania at the end, and it's, it's just gonna be that noise. 
that noise <laughs> part of the thing with fucking Rollins spinning. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, dear. But no. no. Even though we can laugh at it and whatnot, and uh, it's, it was still impressive, though. Yeah. Ew, no, but... it's, it's, as I said, it's an impressive looking move with a really shit name. Oh, I just wanted to double check what they actually stood for in Cesaro. It's unidentified flying opponent. <laughs> it's what it is. What it is please, apparently. please find a better name. Every day that goes past, the belly to Bailey sounds forever better. Bailey to belly. And I came up with that before the commentators did. <laughs> That's what actually you did, didn't I, you? <laughs> I did, and I tweeted it at Bailey. I did. It was you. Day. It was you. you. Were you the booking as well? Yes. That's it. I, I'm, I'm. Fucking yeah. get out. I know. See you later, please. <laughs> right. If if it wouldn't fuck up the recording, I'd absolutely leave the call. Uh, um. The the. I, I, you know what? You know. You know what we should call it. It should be the the GSB. Let's the, just not abbreviate shit anymore. I'm tired of the it. The get fucked boys. <laughs> <sighs> no, seriously. That was uh, the crowd. How the about, crowd pops open. How about? Crowd. How about we piss off every CM Punk fan even more and we abbreviate GTS once again, but we call it Go to Space? No, you're not. No, <laughs> you'll just upset Kenta. Uh-huh. No, you'll upset sure. Kenta. Let us move onwards to the tag team match for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship. The New Day defending their belts against AJ Styles and Omos, otherwise oh. known as. Let's sell and make the big guy look good. Welcome to part one of New Day Get Dismantled by Big Men. <laughs> what was... Uh, it's like... The best part about it, like, there are several good points about the match. Like, uh, I, it was nice to hear a Biggie live call again. We got that, like, once previously at another pay-per-view. That was really cool. Um the ring stuff where uh kofi and xavier literally did the whole keep uh aj away from tagging into omos and like getting him into be there first that was really cool and then it was all just building up into omos coming in ruining them and you know kofi and xavier give them credit they sold it really well with like fear in their eyes and everything else although like, almost almost during that whole moment off like it, you know, trying to be the helping hand of trying to you know get the tag, and it's like he looked like he he looked like a blooming you know. He looked like he uh, didn't care. That's it's like, well, well, it's more of a case of like he was like an action figure. He just had his uh, you know articulation out a little you know <laughs> yeah, actually... uh, uh, cer- certain <laughs> you know angle, essentially, just like Omos you know, like... realistic tagging action. <laughs> I th- I saw it on I'm not I think it might have been Kevin that retweeted it but it was it went across my did nobody tell Omos that he has to hold on to the tiny string to tag in because he's just standing there with his hand outstretched into the ring and he's just like you can see the the strings just over the turnbuckle but he's not holding on to it why nobody is, uh, is nobody respecting the tag ropes Pete do something about it you're the booker I can't I can't I'm sorry <laughs> you're the pencil. I am. I'm the Roomba. <laughs> so, and the Roomba as well? Yes. Go I, clean up all this shit? I just erase every mistake. Guys, I mean, this is only... Like, this was a longer match. Like, I look at the time for this match, and it was a lot longer than I actually thought it was. I thought How it was long like, was it? Just shy of ten minutes. It felt Ooh. longer. It felt shorter. <laughs> it um, felt inevitable. I mean, it was inevitable because... Like, because it was, it, it was it, just a lot of po- been... it was it, it was just stalling until we got to the yeah, well, yeah you know, almost mean, clean house there was more there was more focus on Omos's debut than this being the one title that AJ missed to, for a Grand Slam yeah we, we missed yeah. that entirely it was only later that they went oh yeah AJ's a Grand Slam winner now it was yeah. like yeah yeah maybe, maybe that's like the more important story here but I, I I I did I did genuinely laugh. Well, it's, at, well, at it's the whole... it's good that it's good that AJ has 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 that now done yeah, in yeah. Uh, oh, WWE. That and... how long did it take him? It's like, uh, like not long in the years, grand scheme like, of things. Twenty sixteen's Royal Rumble, I think he debuted. But yeah, so about five um, years, uh, just over five. People years. People have pointed out he's the Grand Slam winner, but he's also the first person to be a TNA slash Impact and WWE Grand Slam winner. 
Mm. He's the only person that's won that's been in the Grand Slam winner in both companies. It's all right. I just needs to go to John, AEW. John, Moxley, John Moxley's probably going to be the first AEW in WWE fucking Grand Slam champion. So oh, he went, well, eventually. Um, yes. Um, moving onwards. Uh, Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon in a steel cage. Now, come on. You said that this. It was said that this was not the worst match on the card for day one. So. Um, I want to hear justifications for this because fuck me, I went to bed during this match. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, uh, this is when my stream crapped out and I went to bed. Oh, right. Fair enough. Uh, but like, clearly, even the internet gods did not want me to watch this. <laughs> so, your gods are better than ours, I think. Um. Okay. T Turbo, t t tell us, tell us, tell us all the highlights um, <laughs> of this. What? Well, you had, you know, kind of like interruption <laughs> first of uh, Elias and whatnot beating down fucking Strowman Jackson he, Riker he got a WrestleMania payday. Fuck off, <laughs> man! It was a, it was. I mean, it was, it was inevitable. I mean, he's tied to Elias. Elias has had a, pay, a WrestleMania payday at every WrestleMania thus far. And he's not he's done debut. any. He's so, had the crap beaten out of him every time. Much. Yeah, and he's always been jobbed out. So, really, in all honesty. For Riker to just rang rang on the t coattails of uh, Elias's success, <laughs> I, success um, is uh, uh, saying something. Uh, and then it was just um, you know uh, Shane just working on Braun for a good few minutes and whatnot with weapons and whatnot, being you know the the arrogant heel. You know, thinking he's got the one up and thing. Even brought a toolbox in, funnily enough, with uh, the sacks that were up at the top of the ring. I, 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 I thought they were just like, I, I, I don't know the what they were. I, the, minute I saw, the minute I saw them, I knew there was going to be something in there. Because yeah, it's like not, hidden weapons. Yeah, they're yeah. not normally there. Yeah, it it's was like, like nah. it, it became a, it became a, a it it became a impromptu asylum match. Uh, oh God, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's that's like, a good uh, way of putting it. It's like, but it was like, also, also like, okay, the, like, because uh, because we were all looking at the top of the cage and thinking, okay, that's weird, and we're like that panel looks weird, and why is that bit got bits of red tape at the top of it? And I thought it's well, it's just unfortunately those things we've seen so many cage matches and things nowadays. Yeah, yes, they've changed the design a bit here, there, and everywhere down the years, but. It's obvious to us when there is extra hinges on the freaking thing. It's obvious to us when there is, you know, setups for with, involving the cage structure. It's essentially a video game that was programmed in the 2000s where mm. you have the, the, I mean, the textures of all the walls and then you see the one texture that looks like a breakable wall. Mm. You, you still got to give it to Braun. I mean that's it, that cage wall was still attached properly like that was still welded on and he still pulled it off mm -hmm. although mm. like uh, before that bit it's like it's like toolbox being used dq call dq why <laughs> because because, yeah, gonna, because wwe's do you know crazy <laughs> changing rules that's why if they're, if they're not gonna call a dq for the bloody chair shot no well i was gonna no, that was outside the, the cage perfectly like, fine it's like Hell in the Cell, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, good that, that, uh, was, that wasn't a disqualification. That was talk, talk, uh, toolbox is the most dangerous thing in the world. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but no, it, it, that was that, like doing that would be uh, the same way uh, Drew McIntyre lost by technical submission, or as you said, the Fiend lost a referee stoppage because he can't move under a pile of chairs. <laughs> no, again, the chairs were fine. It was the toolbox. Uh, yeah. It was the toolbox, you know. Never mind the things that... in. Never mind just the sharp things inside the toolbox that Randy Orton no, likes no, no. to use on people's ears. Never, ne it's... never mind. Never mind the toolbox. The toolbox. We completely ignore the fiend's massive fucking hammer. Oh, but he got that off somebody else, didn't he? Oh no, I'm thinking. Of, I'm thinking of the mysterious um, symbol thing that he got. Off, uh, I'll be honest. This. this, like, I think to anybody. I th the biggest thing I've had to take away from this WrestleMania is that it's very much 
aimed at an audience in America compared to the rest of the world. Oh, you think? Oh, more so than you. More so, more so, and, and in a way, I can kind of understand that. You know, it's a little bit more like so, that. They can change the blimmin' tagline to "then, then, now, together, forever," as much as they want. Oh. Plus, add all the extra sound effects in on that beginning part now. Choo choo, well. oh, mofo's. Oh. God. But best best bit of the match for me was was the very very beginning when Braun's steam train just pyro went off in... and it just stayed <laughs> like over oh, it. It's and the entire stage managed. Course, uh, Strowman walked walked out just before uh, it covered the entrance and whatnot. So obviously you got to see him walk out and then it's just a big cloud just. But they sort of, like, was, they sort of cut away to the ring it because was... it was like um, and then they cut back and there was just nothing. But... Nothing it was cloud. there was so much smoke and it was so dark i fully expected braun to be replaced by the undertaker slowly walking down the road that would have been that would have been fun but, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's shane mcmahon in a steel cage match and he he f fell off something big oh no he but, didn't but, fall, but, he but, didn't but, fall but, he Full he on jumped. did a backflip. Yes, he jumped. Yes. Well, well, that, not that's, why, flip, that's, why, like that's why Fell was in air quotes. Yeah. But as I was going to say for those audio listeners that you know dun, dun, are watching dun, the video. Dun, 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 but yeah, it's um, like that, that flat back though. It's like that. He that landed was, high shall, on the shoulders. High on shall, the shoulders. That was shall we talk about a match which I think surprised everybody? Uh, yes, let's do that. Bad Bunny and Damien Priest against The Miz and John Morrison. All right. Bless Now, obviously, the Miz. obviously, we have to put in the thing that this was nearly cancelled again from a tag match because of Priest and Morrison not being nearly not being eligible to actually do the match. But I'm going to say what everybody else has said. And fucking, like, in terms of celebrity wrestler, like, celebrity appearances who have actually wrestled, Bad Bunny put the fucking time in. To learn stuff, he's yeah, up I mean, there with Stephen Amell, isn't he? In terms, yeah, of... no, absolutely. I yeah. mean, yes, you've got to give part of that to everybody else he's in the ring with to you know work to the bumps and you know have done the work with him to get to that point and then to put on a match. But you know, every I think everybody expected going to this match, it was going to be Bad Bunny on the apron with Damien Priest doing all the work. Bad Bunny does a fucking Snoop Dogg and does a really shitty splash from the top rope. <laughs> But... How dare you besmirch that? <laughs> hey, the I'm, the booker. I'm, 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 I'm the Snoopy. booker and I'll do what I want. He but... besmirched the Snoop. <laughs> but let's be, fair, <laughs> let's be fair here. It was completely the opposite. Probably because Priest was still not well with for whatever reason. And yeah, back. apparently he was working hard. Yeah. Really bad back apparently. And he was, mm. he was like literally touch and go right up to the show as to mm. whether or not he'd be cleared. So... It was kind of evident in the match because of how little he was doing in the match as well. So yeah, so, he, so yeah, that's, only, that speaks even higher. The, the like, only this, the only thing I bunny. was the only thing I was unhappy with in this entire match was the fact that they pretty much did the same opener uh, that we had in AJ Styles and Omos, where they basically just abused the guys to get the uh, the smaller guy in the match. Mm -hmm. I, otherwise, otherwise, I thought it was a good match. You know, I'm completely surprised at the bunny destroyer. Uh, but... The Canadian destroyer is dead, ladies and gentlemen. It is dead. It, I think it's, anybody no, can no, do it. Not, it. What was what was this man saying? <laughs> what were we all discussing the previous show? about uh -huh. super kicks DDTs and fucking destroyers, destroyers and what yeah. happens in Wrestlemania oh. Bad Bunny does a Canadian destroyer outside on the mat outside um, on the mat I'm surprised they didn't call it a code hop oh, that, would have been, that would have been a better name than a bunny destroyer the bunny, bunny destroyer just makes it sound like he's dead it's not like yeah, but, yeah. But, that, but, that's uh, really but honestly, thing. bless Miz and Morrison for that, that entire match because they bumped like crazy. Miz sold like anything. Miz's Miz is, the pauses and the exp Miz's expression of this is just not happening. How dare he? Yeah, mm. every time was, Bunny lands a, a slap or a move or anything it, else, he's just, 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 like, just, oh. just absolute shock. 
There's just like there's just everything just just you can see just Mrs. Brain is like like blue screen. Like, <laughs> there was there was nothing. He's like this couldn't possibly be happening. But they took like a lot wi- of Windows has like, Windows has failed to load. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there was just yeah. It was. Did Miz deserve better for the for the card and, and everything? Yes, but you know, as as always, he he turned it into. I think, uh, I, I well. think unfortunately, unfortunately, we're at a position right now where I don't think we're ever unless we're never going to see Miz with a top tier belt. If we're lucky, it'll be a mid card belt. And I think if he ever holds that going to WrestleMania, it'll be some sort of ladder match that will obviously happen off the back of it. Well, but well the thing for this point, Miz is going for the IC title record, but he needs to be on the same brand as the belt. Brand. But here, here's the thing. I think the Miz is essentially, when it comes to WrestleMania these days, he's doing the big show slot. He will be the guy who's going up against the celebrity which, or some uh, affiliation. Which in a way, right. speak, again, speaks highly of him. Yeah. Well, it's, because it's his they, persona he's trusted now. Because to he's, do that to, to carry. He's, he's in that, en- that. He's in that. Well, he's that entertainer now. He is like the reality TV star with uh, Miz and Mrs. Yeah. You know, like, he, uh, so in terms, it's, it's part of that. gimmick's kind of bulletproof in that mm-hmm. sense. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, it's passable. This, although, granted, that entrance could just go to hell. What was that? I, I I didn't get the whole. Is that is that part of his just general thing? With the with the lorry, Nemes- I, don't, I don't know. Or, it's like, well, I, I, as I like, put it, oh look, judging, it's Nemesis Prime. Judge, <laughs> judging, judging, judging by how uh, they advertised Bad Bunny it, like World Tour on night two. Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, apparently that's got part of his gimmick for his World Tour, I suppose. He's, like, he's, truck, he's just truck surfing driving. on this truck. So I, I, I must admit, I didn't realize that was a microphone. First of all, I, I just thought <laughs> I was wondering what it was. <laughs> I, 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 interpretations of it. Yeah, no, he, he put it out and he just like, oh, oh, he's giving him a Motorhead themed dildo. I could yeah. assume. <laughs> what, what, what is this <laughs> thing? No, 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 it's a, it's, it's a Motorhead uh, back massager. Oh, it's yeah, a back massager. Oh, okay, it's a ba- okay. back massager. <laughs> Again, for those who are those who are on the audio version. <laughs> Very big quotation marks when we say back massage. <laughs> Let's move on to Stephanie's the last cast match. Right, there Let's, <laughs> Let's move on to the last match of the card because I was massively underwhelmed by this. Um, I didn't have high expectations going into it, but I'm going to let you guys talk about Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks for the SmackDown Women's Championship because I think you you two because obviously i wasn't awake for this and you guys watched it live so mm. i got the, ed- obviously the edited version of this so mm. um okay the good things number one that this happened from a historical point of view mm-hmm. not only do we have another main event wrestlemania women's match it is a women's match between two female competitors of colour and that was fantastic to see and it was very important and the end result I mean you you might well have seen the clips that were going around afterwards when the the celebrations were happening and Sasha was just smiling (laughs) She, she was desperately trying to be really miserable and she couldn't that, that, well, that's the thing. because it's it was like, that emotion, important emotions were so riding high for both of them because they knew that this was like the pinnacle that they wanted to achieve yeah, that was and it whatnot. and th- it was very hard to keep it keep it in to try to keep composure mm. because you saw it at the start where they were like oh god they were yes. on the verge of like Break yeah, Bian- down Bianca, tears, Bianca was uh, Bianca at the really start had to try hard to rate it back in because it meant yeah. so it clearly meant so much to to both of them and I know it mean it meant an awful lot to people in the back. Yeah. However, um, uh, yeah, the match wasn't anything to write it, home it, about. Really. It was okay. I, 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 it wasn't the match wasn't anything to write home about. It did have that big match feel. Mm-hmm. It definitely had that. Um, there was some notable high spots in terms of in terms of very high quality you know, wrestling spots. 
Mm-hmm. But other than that, kind of agree with Pete. It really wasn't much to write home about. We had this very nice veneer of the importance of things over the top of it. Um, and again, the big match feel. But the actual match... Mm. Mm. What Fair do you news. think, Turbo? I, mean, I, I thought a little higher than that, actually. It's like I, I felt the big match feel. Uh, I felt that the chem- it did actually work all right with uh, how they worked out. Um, the spots that they had. I mean, hell, but... I, but I, I'll I'll give it bonus points for Bian- Bianca being smart enough to not be a divvy and holding herself up when uh, Sasha was about to drop knees on her in the corner and whatnot. So you know there was there was like, some smart thinking like that. Yeah. Um, so it's like, but I I I thought it worked. I thought they were really being able to kind of like go at it and you know. Uh, choreograph uh, in the match all right so i don't i i i don't know what, how you guys interpreted it but uh and, but no fault because i know pete you've not been invested in this match since it was announced and i can the, understand the, that the build and was none it was no nah, it, 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 it was a build the build didn't help it but it was really really poor yes i right. so that was that probably didn't help people going into the match is trying to you know get into the mindset that this is this is gonna be a really good um like i think uh, i think a lot of the problem with the build is these days you have the royal rumble like the way it was way back in the day is royal rumble a pay-per-view and then mania, mania. Yeah. now you right. have royal rumble elimination chamber fast lane wrestlemania then, and then, then you've mania. got all the night stuff in between and the biggest worst trope that they've done is can these competitors work together as a tag team? They, yeah, yeah, they went. The, they started going the wacky tag team route, and well, they did the wacky tag team route, and they did the you're a rookie trope route as well at the same time. How I yeah. don't understand just like, how they can do any sort of rookie trope when clearly WWE NXT is there. And they yeah. literally reference and show packages from their NXT timeline as well. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how they can call anybody a rookie. I hate and, it. And speaking of that, you pointed out yeah. the, uh, for Bianca's Titantron and whatnot. It's like it's like the EST of, yeah, NXT. of NXT. NXT. And I was like, she That's hasn't not helping since she left NXT. And it's like, yeah. what? She was supposed to be WWE. the EST of WWE. Yeah, so it's like, you, you're on. not helping you're not helping the cause when but when banks is saying you're a rookie and that's the thing and you're coming up to and then oh yes i'm from the i'm from nxt which is still whether we think it or not is still the developmental there's a reason, side there's a there's a reason she doesn't say she's the rookiest of nxt of wwe you know like, like well of course uh, that it's, sounds it's, dumb it's anyway but no i i still feel it felt, felt it was a good match Round of the room. Quick scores on the doors for WrestleMania Night One. Mister Turbo, we'll start with you. I'll say an eight. It's like for uh, night one. So, for night one, yeah. For night one, I th- think it. I I generally bar the tar- t- uh, t- tag team turmoil and whatnot. Uh, actually, no. I'll bring it down a little bit. It'll be seven because the steel cage as well. Yeah, the steel cage didn't re- really think, but you know, uh, I still. F- uh, I mean, some of the the spots in that match were impressive and like ah, but uh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like ah, you're doing crazy shit. Uh, but uh, no, it was mainly the the my disappointment was in that tag team turmoil match. I feel, feel so majority of how bad this show and of course the weather. Obviously, it's, it's like God, God, hate on him. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I think it's just that that really put it down a bit there. So I'll say seven. Kevin, um, we didn't mention the hair whip. Did oh we? yes, I it's holy like that, fuck ooh. the hair whip. I mean, it didn't help. It didn't really help that Sasha leapt into it going like that. But yeah, oh, and it left her quite <laughs> but, a good mark there. That was a great holy, shiner. She's gonna have someone's fucking eye out with that. Oh, so if long she as she does that whip again. anyone in the head. That's anyway, right. she, takes, she takes the word EST out of that before she starts beating anybody to death with it. Yeah, well, the, uh, yeah, no, but the the, the mark Count was very genuine. Anyway, so, uh, um, 
very up and down. If I tell you, it felt like a WWE pay per view. It did not feel like WrestleMania, and that's the I biggest. That. That's the biggest I slight I can give against the thing. It felt like a pay per view from WWE, but it did not. Uh, apart from like on like two occasions, which was the main event and Cesaro Rollins, it, and only in parts of that. It didn't feel like WrestleMania. I'm going to say it was a six for me. It's, it's, it's solid. It's, it was solid. It's it's mm. really bad when, like, as it should be, it's better than your average WWE pay per view. Like, but it should be like like this is the wrestle the WrestleMania that we've had this year should be the standard of every pay-per-view in terms of the matches and the build, uh, not the build, the build was garbage. But in terms of the actual, like the match quality that we get should be that for every pay-per-view. And then it should be stepped up for WrestleMania, not in the case of just, Oh, it's WrestleMania. We've got to have fireworks and pyro for everybody. Like there needs to be stuff that makes it stand out. And it felt like, I just it just felt like as Kevin said, just another just another pay per view. It didn't feel it felt like very cookie cut it felt very cookie cutter, but just with a bigger budget for outside. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna agree with Kev. Uh, I'm gonna give it a six. Because I don't like doing half numbers, otherwise I give it a six point five, but I'm giving it a six. So We'll be back again for part two. We're recording this quite late in the middle of the week and people have got lives to lead, unfortunately. So the, part two might be slightly delayed, but it yes. is coming. We will record it sometime soon. So if you see this in the box, as always, come and follow us on the social medias. That'll be on the screen when Mr. Kevin works with magic. It's done down below in as, the description. As I keep saying, come and join us on the Discord. Come and talk wrestling. It's not just us that talk wrestling there. There are multiple people that talk wrestling you can come and meet some more wrestling fans. Until then, from Mr. Turbo. Thank you. From Mr. Kevin. Thank you. And from me, we will see you for another episode of Last Minute Kickout for WrestleMania Part 2. Take care. Stay safe.